My younger brother found out first. He received a call from the owner of the barbershop where we're located. And um, she said to call the police because our food truck was gone. It's just a mess. Everything's destroyed. Um, pretty much the entire equipment, everything, all the equipment that we had is missing. Um, they didn't leave a single thing. She actually started uh, working for herself because she got divorced uh, from my dad and she wanted to remain dependent. She didn't want to rely on somebody else for rent, bills, to feed her kids. So she took it upon herself to, to make a means and find a way to provide for her family. I think anything that you invest eight, nine, ten years in, of your life into will be very important to you, you know? Puedo decir un mensaje para toda la gente que nos ha estado apoyando, por favor, que se han tomado su tiempo para ayudarnos emocionalmente y económicamente nos han ayudado bastante y quiero darle las gracias a toda esa gente, a toda la gente de Clintonville, son mi familia, todos mis clientes para mí son como mi familia y yo amo todo eso, todo lo que yo hago lo hago con amor. It's very shitty that somebody would do this to our family, um, more so to my mother, who is a cancer survivor. To see someone so strong and, and so independent and just so full of life and energy, so defeated and so torn apart, it just breaks my heart to see my mom like that. So the truck itself took us over a year to build um, while, while running a, a small truck, the one that we started with. So it took over a year to build from scratch and that's pretty much what we're gonna have to do again.